Okay. Uh, I have to set the camera up just a bit. All right. I built this last night. This is going to be the uh, display uh, for building these caps. So I'll just show you some work that the Lord commissioned me to make several years ago or so. I'll be making these displays here. And this one is going to be an H7 24 acre. But I need a working uh, device so I can actually build the cardboard prototype first. And uh, from that I'll put it together into a, a, a computer format. And uh, uh, Lord willing, by my birthday, enough donations will come in where I could actually buy a 60 inch uh, screen that's going to go on that wall then I'll be able to do the uh, display for the uh, presentation for <clears throat> for building these camps end time camps because we're coming into uh, the time where the stage is being set for the man of sin to come on the scene uh, Daniel 9.27 is in the process of taking place in Israel as we speak. Alright, let's get this thing together. Hold it down. Fairly easy setup. I'm just going to fasten the screws. Okay, now this will tilt, I think I might have it backwards, but I'll spin this around so oh, I kind of like it that way actually. I'm going to need it the other way. It doesn't work backwards. display display so I'll be able to work on it like this to do my work I'm just gonna get some stuff here so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to make uh, <coughs> the uh, 24 acre plot on this by pasting these together and making a big hex. Then I'll actually show you how to do the layout of the survey. You're going to have to know how to build the camp yourself. Put this back. So basically, it would be similar. Let's see if I can find something in here that's similar. With this manual here, it can be able any size of community, town, city. So I'll be using a this one here, I'll be building this model. Where you, this is going to be the 24 acres, and you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six 
uh, camps. <clears throat> These camps here, one, two, three, four. And this rectangle, there, it's going to be the living areas. And th this one, and this one's going to be the work camps, right? <clears throat> so just for a quick overview, overview you've got 24 acres. And uh, so you've got your living, you've got your work camps. So between the four camps, you've got 100 uh, you got about 500 people living here. And you need to make the shops work. Each shop will have work area will have six shops in each shop and be able to uh, produce one shed shelter per day, right? So you're making six housing units, six housing units per day. So, so 12 housing, housing units per day. You need to compress a day's labor or a year's labor into one day and so you would have 144 people working here another 144 people working here and the rest of the people in the camp will be maintaining the camps it's going to be lots to do the times are coming into with the rise of the man of sin you know, the church is going to go into a shock because they're going to find themselves here when the man of perdition rises comes up on the scene right we're, we're seeing this happening now and uh we need to prepare our hearts, right? And that's what I've been doing this. The Lord's been training me in all this since 1988. In this model here, uh, these honeycombs will be expanded, uh, kind of shrunken down, so you can, you can have like a buffer uh, zone between the uh, camps. And in the center, <clears throat> it's going to be your spiritual center. That's where everybody be able to come together to, to worship the Lord, worship the King and uh, <clears throat> you might have a couple times a week where everybody comes together and eats in the center so I'm just getting ready to go for my toast and coffee this morning but uh, I threw this together last night, it was already getting dark but it, it came out beautiful and the Lord put something in my mind I just <clears throat> run with it and it always works so I can use this to build by display and all I do is tilt it now I get myself <clears throat> 